Hello there. So, uh, it's been a wonderful trip to Dharmshala. I went to the Himachal Pradesh, McLeod Ganj. Uh, it's a, a small place there. And I would recommend everyone to visit there. And what I see there is ferns, ferns everywhere. So, as you see, these are the plants that I bought. I just wanted to show you what sort of ferns are available there and what all could I pick up from those things and yes nothing is from the private property everything is from the wild from the jungle and here is these I have no idea what sort of name these are so these are ferns as you see it's been around like 12 hours now since they have been plucked up from the places like mostly from the trees uh, a few from the trees a few from the stones uh, they were stuck in between the stones of the waterfalls so they look a bit dry so what I did I uh, I took this damp cloth wrapped it and I just bought them the travel doesn't look good some of my ferns are dry dull and I don't and I think uh, it needs a lot of moisture and care I would be giving them uh, different procedures to main, manage uh, the humidity levels. So this is the first one. It's a fern and it, it, it completely looks like coriander. It gives me that coriander sort of hint. And yeah, this is different. It got ni it has nice roots and uh, yeah, there's this baby leaf there. And I'm sorry for the audio in the background. So that's there. That's the first one. The next comes here. So this is a pretty decent and a big one. And uh, yeah, I love these things. Just just look at the shape of the leaf, and it's not as thin as the earlier one and it got nice red vines here the roots are really healthy it's a big fern and i hope this survives it looks pretty good right? and this was uh, exactly in between two stones and i had to just carve out this patch from the bulb down here uh, though it's not a bulb but yeah the root system and it's a, it's a nice it shows a nice decent growth so there that is it's it, a little bit torn here and there but then I think it will pick up soon and here comes the third one now this is completely ruined the leaves are really very thin and uh, it, it, it looked really fresh yesterday, but today it, it's all gone dry. But then you see the root is good. I mean, it's from the root and I hope the it, it picks up soon. I wish or maybe I'll be losing this. Let's see. I'll update you soon. But this one looks really pretty. So that's the third and this fourth fern is really very tiny very thin and these are the baby ferns these are all different plants all has got roots good roots and the light green and the thin leaves and lightweight makes it really very exotic just look at those patterns i love them Yeah, so there we have another fern. Let me show you a single plant here. So that's a single fern. It has got roots there. Yes, so, and it just it's just like that. And if I'm wrong anywhere, please do comment and correct me. I would also learn from you guys so there's that 
the next comes one of the most demanding and the prettiest of all this particular fern i just love the the exotic color the, the dark passionate color here it's it's pretty it has got hairy branches the branches are like <clears throat> it has it has got these tiny brushy stuff and uh, yeah the dark the dark shade just makes it look very very gorgeous i love the shape just look at it all right there we have and this is this has good roots here I think the soil is a bit, little bit clay, but then it's okay. It it is uh, it had it has been with uh, growing with the moss and the soil and the stones and yeah and and I wish this picks up quick. And the other is here. So as you see, it it was in the mixture of uh, the soil and the moss. Moss is, moss is still there it, it's just stuck with the and there's a baby leaf there and I really hope this comes up and this is different it it's different it's different from the others all of these are different and I just wanted to pick one from all the varieties it is completely handpicked and selected there were other ferns as well and I couldn't and I had to control myself from damaging the other plants there. So yeah, this is what this is what I bought. And there's this. Now this was growing um, under a stone, the water, the waterfall area, the Bugsu waterfall. So I couldn't stop staring at it. It it looks like it, it's grassy and it's got this tubular bamboo like structure and there's this flower there everything has got good roots they were like stuck and in, the, in between the stones and uh, looks like a water plant to me let's see if this gets on picks up well yeah definitely look like uh, the water bamboos but yeah i don't know the name i just grabbed them as soon as i saw them so do comment these names uh, what do you think about these and how could i care them better please let me know and that's the collection that i bought and have a wonderful gardening happy gardening guys see ya bye